Now Sean's show. Due to certain unforeseen production problems, some of the script used for tonight's show has been incorrectly typed, rendering parts of the programme incomprehensible. <laughs> It's only show, la la la, it's only show, do 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 do, surely, 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 surely show, it's only surely, surely show, it's only show, do 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 do, do 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 do, show, show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to show. Show. Now, would you please welcome Sean's neighbor? I've just, I've just come in to look over Sean's flat because he's on holiday. He's in Greece. He's gone to the uh, Pelip, Pelipno. <laughs> he's not here. Goes to the same place every year. He always comes back and says he's had a romance and how he's so much in love and how this could be the one, this could be the one, and how he's gonna go out and live there later on. <laughs> Hello? Tony, it's me, yeah. I'm still on the pillar, the, the plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Greece, yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna believe it, Tony. Yes, I have. Yeah, her name's Alexi. And Tony, this could be the one. This could be the one. Well, I've never laid eyes on her before, and I was at the road, and she drove up, and she leant out the window, and she said in such a sweet voice, she said, Burger. <laughs> you know, you're fast food, man. It's great. I'm, I'm thinking of living over here, so listen, could you cover for me? What, what the show started? Oh, flip it. Tony, you pretend you're me, yeah? Okay, have to go, adio. Have to go, adio. Have to go, adio. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a great holiday. Oh, I'm so in love. Eventually, I'm gonna have to tell my parents about it, I suppose. Mom, Dad, yeah, I'm over here. God, I wish I didn't have to go on holiday with my parents every year. It's so <laughs> No, I'm on the Charles menu, thanks. <laughs> Well, I brought my shed over in case I want to have a cigarette, so I'll have a sneaky cigarette now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean, and this is my flat. <laughs> I'm so depressed and alone. But at least I've got Beckett and Morrissey. <laughs> Tent on truck killed the both of us to die by your side. The pleasure, the privilege is mine. <laughs> well, that sucks, still not dry. <laughs> my chair, my box of memorabilia. <laughs> oh, what shall I talk about now? I've got so much on my mind. I'm so confused about my sexuality. Sean Hughes. I think that's funny, do you? <laughs> and will you stop going on about my sexuality as well? I'm sorry, it's a really bad line. Oi, cut that out! OK, OK. Or I won't bring you back that cuddly grey donkey, I promise. OK, I promise. Well, just fold yourself together. Miss Prince. <laughs> what shall I do now? Sean would probably do something really amusing, like his impression of a startled bunny. <laughs> what now? Oh, yeah, I remember. Once when we were really drunk, he said he'd like to give all his money over to charity. And now, a quick word from our pilot. I'd like to thank Jimmy Savile for fixing it for me today to fly the planes. <laughs> I love you too, Jimmy. Bye bye, puppy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, pumpkin. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Now, Angela, will you leave me alone? <laughs> I did not lead her on. <laughs> Oh, what a great... <laughs> Thanks very much, 
Not you bloody cab drivers. You've taken everything I have, for God's sake. Who do you think you are, Annie Lennox? <laughs> Apparently someone gave all my money to charity. Great holiday anyway, I must say. But we were coming back from the airport there in the taxi, and you know Mr and Mrs Pebbles, the old couple? Well, the taxi went right into them, and Mrs Pebbles, she just jumped out of the way because she's quite agile. And then Mr Pebbles got a smack! He went right up in the air, did about six somersaults, crashed down, got up, wiped himself down, put his cap on and went, I'm 92, you know. <laughs> and that's the honest-to-God truth. <laughs> No, actually, he died, really. <laughs> no, but I'm going to look after Mrs Pebbles as if she's my own, you know? Anyway, great holiday, I must say, cos when I go away, I like to bring back some of the local culture with me, so, uh, Come on in, boys! <laughs> yeah. Make yourselves comfortable. Pay no attention to Mrs Pebbles. She just jump over, she's in shock. Straight in there, guys. Yeah, I've got plenty of hummus. <laughs> it's great, guys. <laughs> Oh, great, there's a message here. I can't go on. I'll go on. Sean Beckett here. Thought as much. Had to let you know. <laughs> yeah. Something terrible is happening. Somebody is trying to take over your whole identity. Who? Big trouble. You have to laugh. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Samuel Beggar, he cheers me up. He's my favourite dead person. <laughs> <laughs> right into some clothes. There we go. Where's all my clothes? These are Tony's, for God's sake. This is disgusting. I know, I'll make myself a nice cup of tea and relax and read my post. That's a great thing when you're away on holiday, all the posts you get. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at all this post for me. OK, get rid of all the Angela letters. This one's from Italy. It must be from my pen pal. <laughs> the great thing about having pen pals is you can write to them. <laughs> and no, no, but the great thing about pen pals is you can, can, you can pour your heart out to them, cos you know you're never going to meet them, so it's never going to be embarrassing, is it, like that? <laughs> Let's see what he says. <laughs> Dear Prince Sean... <laughs> so slightly exaggerated about what I do. <laughs> How are you keeping, Your Highness? <laughs> How has Lady Di? <laughs> you haven't got divorced yet, I see. Cheeky sod. <laughs> Lots to tell you, but the good news is that myself and the family are coming over to visit you. See you soon, Vito Corioni. <laughs> oh, it's all right. He pretends he's in the Mafia. It's all right. It's a little gag we do. <laughs> P.S. We'll do that little job you asked us to do. <laughs> Poor Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting packages, actually. Oh, ooh, there's a video here and a letter. Brilliant. Let's see what the letter says. <clears throat> Dear Sean, we haven't been introduced, but I am your blackmailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm being blackmailed by a shark. <laughs> yeah, I think they've got the joke now. If you don't meet my demands, this video will be shown to your mother. God, you can tell the professional as well. They've done those newspaper headline stuff. <laughs> my demands are, are that you marry me and have three children and lead a dreary but dull life. <laughs> Yours, Angela. <laughs> what could Angela possibly have of me that want me to make a marrier? Oh, great, the burglars have been brilliant! <laughs> oh, they come every... I wonder where they get all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is top-of-the-range stuff as well. This is really good. This is an XOR double five seven more uh, homogenised milk displacer video. Oh, great, let's see what this is. I can't let my mother see that. She want me to be like that all the time. <laughs> of course, Radio 4, that new series, had to do with blackmailers. <laughs> so if you're caught dancing to the baddie song, that's all you have to do. Missed it and again. Now, 
That special bond. My favourite programme. This week, Who is it? our guest is Sean Hughes, and he'll be talking about his special and very close relationship with his father. My father? I hate my father. Well, it's when I started to sort out my relationships with people in general. Uh, for instance? Well, an example of this transformation <laughs> occurred only yesterday when I met up with my lifelong and unrequited love, Susan. Oh! And we both felt this totally sudden oh! and amazing <laughs> sexual chemistry. Get off! She's Today, the two highest-ranking members of the Sicilian Mafia caused havoc and mayhem outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. They were to see their pen pal. Pen pal? God, that's me! Oh, Hi, Sean. Is Mrs Pebbles all right? She's lying out there, sort of drooling. Oh, so she's in shock. Her husband's dead. You look really good. Yeah, you look fantastic. John, you're not going to believe this. I turned on the radio and someone was pretending to be me. Yeah, that was me. And I don't... You, you got that wrong. There's a load of mistakes in the script this week. You've obviously messed it up. Now, like, for instance, you know when you walked in there? See, look, in the script it says, Tony enters with loads of confidence, not cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the way I write my A's and they come out a little like threes? Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. Well, you know the way I said I'd bring you back a cuddly grey donkey? Three curious Greek dancers <laughs> in the bloody bedroom. I've had to improvise like crazy. Good job of all that, all that hummus. <laughs> Sean, I've got to tell you something. Ooh. I'm in love with Susan and I want to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. I do not believe what. I'm sorry, Sean. The second my back is turned. It's just not on! It just happened! It doesn't. I told you, Tony, you don't just come bowling in here starting a major plot development. <laughs> especially just before the ad break. Why not? <laughs> it's not fair for the people at home. Think about them, eh? They want to enjoy their ad break. They want to be thinking, hey, am I going to lose Susan and all that? And also, I want to see if it is possible to make a nice cup of tea in the three minutes you're given, because I don't think it is. It is. Um, well, let's put that to the test. OK, viewers, we're going to have a little ad break now, so get yourselves ready. OK, to count to three, let's all make a cup of tea. One, two, three, go! <laughs> so I like being you. I'm comfortable being you. I am you. Not yet, Tony. The tears are made for God's sake. Think of the... Oh, here it is. Right, that's all right. Can I talk now? Will you... Hang on. Will you wait until they get comfy in their seats? Wait, for God's sake. <laughs> Pour out the tea for the guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. The cheek that some viewers says make cocoa is a lot quicker. <laughs> come on, quick, quick, send the come on the tea to the guys, quickly, quickly. Ah cheek! Ah! 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 It's for your own good, Tony! The cheek of it. Imagine that, like the second me back turn, he's only trying to get off with the woman I love. Well, I love Alexi. But I'm infatuated with Sue's. Well, what was it Lexi used to say to me again? What was it? Burger. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Hustles. Oh, I love that one. That's probably her ringing from Greece. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Stop! So it's the blackmailer! Oh, my God! Look, Andrew, I don't care. You can tell my mother she loves me. She'll understand. What, you'll send it into those embarrassing home video programs? Oh, not Beadle, please, not Beadle. OK, OK, bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. Oh, no, relax, Sean, relax. Turn on the radio, keep calm, do a bit of meditating. Since early this morning, the whole Muswell Hill area was cordoned off as two members of the Sicilian Mafia began shooting at anyone with an Irish accent. ...might <laughs> been sent in in case the Mafia encounter any resistance. Oh, no, God. I'm being punished. I'm being punished for loving two women. I'm talking about love here. I'm not talking about sex. I'm not talking about petty common sex. I'm talking about pure love, the kind that enables you to get some petty common sex. <laughs> well, no, a, a lot of love, but a little bit of sex. Oh, God, it's always been like that with me. I remember the first day in school, you're embarrassed, and you go in, and the guys say, so when did you lose your virginity? And I say, I haven't yet. And they go... <laughs> He's having a stroke, actually. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it was cold and everything. Oh, it was a black day. And then he says, uh, so, Sean, how, has he got another guy? And he says, Sean, so how come you haven't lost your virginity? And I say, well, actually, I'm saving myself for the woman I love. And they go, get off, you're just saying that you can't get laid, can you? Hey, hey, hey. I say, no, really, I'm saving myself for the woman I love. And he goes, really? And I went, yeah, really, yes, really, yes. And he said, well, it's good to see someone has a bit of respect for women in this station. It's good to see someone has a bit of morals. Take care, Sean, you're OK. <laughs> hey, Paul, did you hear Hughesy's gay? <laughs> Because we actually had a gay uncle. You know the way we all have a relative, your parents say, don't go near your Uncle Peter. <laughs> well, ours was Uncle Peter, like, and he called at the door, and Mum would be there saying, it's your Uncle Peter, don't go near your Uncle Peter, move away from your Uncle Peter. Because Mum used to always talk with her mouth like that. It was really odd. <laughs> God, was right, or something, I don't know. Never asked. And she'd always say, it's your Uncle Peter, move away, don't go near him, move away, move away. And Uncle Peter was brilliant. He'd sit me on his lap, give me some sweets, and tell me about the bees and the bees. <laughs> I remember when I did lose my virginity, oh, it was horrible. A couple of squelching noises sent us all over, really, like, you know? And I said, it's supposed to be moving, and she said, well, if it lasts longer than 10 seconds, maybe it would, like, you know? <laughs> but I was going, oh, no, I feel all horrible and dirty and disgusting. It's making love supposed to be the most purest thing in the world, but that was... It was over, like, <laughs> like what, what, what makes the world go round? <laughs> it doesn't. It just makes the world go no. <laughs> And you're there, and you're feeling all horrible about it, and you're all hot and bothered. And then you start thinking, well, hang on a second, I'm making love. It's supposed to be beautiful. And you start getting your mind around it. You start thinking, yes, it was beautiful. Yes, it was a bit special, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we had, it was moving. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was great. You were fantastic. Thank you very much for giving me a wholesome experience. And you go out feeling good about yourself, and your mates go, did you fuck her then? <laughs> As well, whenever I talk about my past, this big spotlight comes on. <laughs> oh, fair enough. And you know, in some ways, I, I'm still I'm not really sure about my sexuality, you know that? Hey, will you pack that in about my sexuality? It's, what do you mean, it's my sexuality? Look, could I get back into the room, will you? Oh, who's that now? That's all I need. <laughs> Hello! Oh. We're the Mafia. We're looking for a Sean of Hughes. Our pen pal. <laughs> He's uh, not here. <laughs> we come back in 20 seconds. You tell his highness. Right. I'll be sure to pass that on to him. Looking good. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> boys, boys, Tony, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Tony, now, look, are you sure you want to be me? Yeah. You would take the only thing I've got left in my life. Oh, yeah. You do that to your only friend. Let's face it, I'm better at being you than you are. I'm better at it, Husey. Susan loves me and you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> the little sausage. <laughs> no, Tony, I don't care. You're my best friend. I'm not going to let them do this. You don't realise the Mafia are going to come running here and they're going to shoot you thinking you're Prince Charles. Look, it's going to be terrible. I tell you what, get into my rabbi's outfit and run off to America. Yeah, yeah, Sean. It's all in the script here, Tony. Look, it's all here. Look, that's them now. Do you want me to let them in? Oh, no, don't let them in, Sean. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it was nice knowing you. And by the way, Tony, it's limp, not lamp. It's a mistake. <laughs> Here. So? So? Plenty of hummus there in the fridge, if you uh, want. Which is uh, a Hugis. I am, Who? and I love Susan. Sean Hugis, who was on holiday in the peli... in the peli... in Greece just recently. Yep, that's me. With your mommy and your daddy. Yeah! You were on holiday with your parents? Oh! Well, you had a holiday romance. Oh, no, I love Susan. You are a Steady, On steady. holiday with your parents? Oh! So, explain this. Uh, <laughs> This love letter, this love letter from our little Alexis. I want to kill him! Oh. Burger. <laughs> you have insulted the whole family. Then Alexi has replied to my proposal with our special word. <laughs> oh, but what a dilemma. If I say it's me, they'll kill me. But then through love, I'll miss out on it again. No, the Mafia, they'll understand love. Yes, I'll say it's me. Are you coming home with us? Or the wedding? Excuse me. Alexi's waiting now. Excuse me. And you will marry our brother. Brother? <laughs> you have broken his little heart. 
Uh, guys, relax. I know what's happening. It's you know when you said brother there, you meant to say sister. Cause that was been happening all day. There's mistakes in the script. Are ah, you saying a little brother is a mistake? We don't have no sister. Just a brother, Alexi. Yeah. Alexi is a boy. <laughs> I think I'm gay. <laughs> but what about Alexi? No, Alexi's not my type, but I'm gonna have to come out, I'm gonna have to change my image, because I don't want people behind me back going, is he or isn't he? I'll get one of those droopy moustaches, that'll let people know. <laughs> I've seen one of them somewhere, actually. Oh. Ah. <laughs> right. God, I'm such a cliche. Gay for 30 seconds, I'm ringing me mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Freudian, isn't it? Like, you know? <laughs> you know, cos Freud always said he wanted to sleep with his mother and kill his father, and I'd agree with that, actually. Have you seen his mother? She was gorgeous! <laughs> Hello? Mum? Oh, Uncle Peter, how are you? <laughs> yeah, could you put my mum, please? Yeah. Hi, Mum, yeah. No, no, I won't go near Uncle Peter, don't worry about it, yeah. Listen, well, I just... Oh, you like the moustache, yeah? Well, that's all I wanted to know, really, yeah. Well, you put Dad on. Dad, how you doing? Listen, uh, what? You had a homosexual experience when you were my age? <laughs> oh, I don't want to be like me Dad. <laughs> oh, I'll just become celibate and have good friends and fondue evenings, whatever yeah, they are. Oh, sure, hurry up. Tony? Tony, is that you? Sean! Yes, Tony! Sean, come closer! Yes, Tony! Sean! Tony! I I've got something to say, My Sean! My best friend, Tony! Sean! Yes, Tony! Don't do anything! Yes? To disappoint... Yeah? Moose! <laughs> <laughs> My best friend... Tony! <laughs> Why? 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 Well, go away, Angela! Why? Whoa, you didn't even have a moustache. <laughs> Good boy, Tony. Hello, Sean. Sammy again. Sammy. Sorry to bother you, no but problem. there's someone here who wants a word. I don't know what else is dead. Sean, hi, it's Tony. me. Look, Tony. I'm really sorry about my behaviour earlier. That's all right. I wanted to ring because I didn't want you to be confused by my last yeah, words. No problem. What I said was... Don't do anything to disappoint me. <laughs> Who the hell is me? <laughs> Hello? Come on, stop it, stop it! Look, Angela, look, I don't care. I can't marry you, I'm celibate now. You, you show it to who? Mez? M Mez? Morrissey! <laughs> Tony, I love you and I love Morrissey and I love Susan and I don't want to marry Angela. I'm so confused, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got? I'm only 26. I'm only 26. Oh, no, no, no. You just bought a really nice moment there, you know that? Because <laughs> sometimes I feel like a man trapped in a man's body. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, Tommy oh, Cooper I... and his two brothers. Amazing. <laughs> isn't it? Turn on the top, Tony. Top of the pops, Tony. Remember we used to watch that, yeah? We used to get half naked. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tony, this week's top of the pops. I'm gonna have to yes, marry Angela. Straight to this week's smash <laughs> entry <laughs> number four. Morrissey live in the studio with his version of the Birdie Song. <laughs> oh, everything's all right then, yeah. God, I don't, I don't have to worry about Morrissey now. Bloody hell, that's brilliant. Everything worked out okay at the end of the day. Well, except my best friend Tony's dead, but you can get friends anywhere, can't you? <laughs> All the funeral arrangements as well. That's going to cost me a bloody fortune. God. Oh, he's brilliant, Morrissey. God, I tell you, that's the last time I go on my holidays in the plillip. In the plollip. 